what to do with remainders. In this video, we will show you the four main ways to use a remainder. You can one, use it as the answer, two, ignore it, three, represent it as a fraction, or four, use it to round the question to the next whole number. We will now show you the word problems that go along with the four main ways to use a remainder. Lucy has 213 pieces of candy. She was putting six pieces of candy in each goodie bag. How many full goodie bags will she be able to make? So, if you want some extra practice, you can go ahead and pause your video and um, try out some of our word problems. So, this is the problem that we use in order to figure out the answer. And one of the main words that we used was full. So we really paid attention to the word full because you need full goodie bags. So we did 213 divided by 6 and got 35 or remainder 3. And so in this problem, you're not going to pay attention to the remainder 3 because you want to know how many full buddy goodie bags you can make. So that would be 35, and you would ignore the remainder. The, the 179 students at the William S. Fay School are divided into six equal color teams that represent the school. Each team comp competes against the others in athletics and in earning good grades. How many students are not in a team? So this time we paid attention to the words are not in a team. So this is the problem that we used. And it was 179 divided by 6. And we got 29 remainder 5. So in this problem, you're going to use the remainder as the answer because it says how many are not in a team and the remainder means you can't make another full group. So the answer is five kids and then we're going to use the remainder as the answer. McCoys are expecting 61 people to attend their family reunion party in July. <laughs> they plan to rent tables. Each holds eight people. How many tables do the McCoys need so that everyone has a place to sit? So this was the problem that we used for this word problem and we did 61 divided by 8 and we got 7 remainder 5. So in this problem, you can't just, like you need enough tables for everybody to see, sit. So we are going to round to the next number and it's going to be eight tables so that everybody has a place to sit. Alex was having a bake sale. She had 396 cookies that she made and eight people. If every last cookie had to be eaten, how many cookies will everybody have? So here's our problem. We did 396 divided by eight, and we got 49 remainder four. And in this case, you can split up the last cookie since it's not a person. Um, so you can cut up the cookie into equal pieces. And the way you turn it into a remainder is you take the remainder and you use it as a numerator. And then you take the divisor and you use it as a denominator. So 4 eighths is equal to 1 half. So it is 49 and a half cookies.
So maybe when you grow up, you can use these strategies when you're a party planner, an engineer, a math teacher, or a baker. Thanks for watching. watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.